Hi, this is Rick Devine from Remax Executive, and I am making this video to explain how some of these Bank of America short sales work, especially how they differ from other banks, what happens. Uh, one of the questions I get all the time, how much does a short sale cost me as a seller? It costs nothing. Also, the homes are sold as is. Another question is, why should I do a short sale? Well, basically, the reason you should do a short sale is because mainly because of your credit. Um, a foreclosure will devastate your credit. If you just decide, why should I just, why not foreclose? I'm mad at the bank anyway. They wouldn't help me. I completely understand that. I do not work for Bank of America. I do not particularly like Bank of America. However, um, if it's a difference between doing a short sale and doing a foreclosure, a short sale is way better and way easier on your credit. In fact, I've got a girl that come in March, she is going to be buying another home. She had a short sale three years ago. If you choose to go the foreclosure route, it could be seven years and your credit may never recover. You've got two mortgages, well typically those both get settled on a short sale. And I've done many of them. I also have a guy that sometimes I bring in to negotiate these deals, um, especially if you've got big second mortgages, and he takes care of all that. Co-op short sale. This is really what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Bank of America is the only one right now doing these co-op deals. And call me, and I can find out if you're eligible to do one of these. If you are, what happens is the paperwork is hardly any they also there's a deficiency judgment and that's the difference what you owe from when you do a short sale uh, the difference between what the bank accepts what's owed also if you do a foreclosure just so you know the deficiency uh, is what the bank decides you owe them but on these co-op deals they're great like I said hardly any paperwork uh, the process is way shorter, but also you get what's called relocation money, and that typically is $2,500, plus they have what's called HIN money, homeowner's incentive. That can be anywhere from an, another $2,500 up to $30,000 just for selling your home in a short sale. Um, also, the deficiency judgment is waived at the end of the deal. Even on second mortgages, it's waived. At the end of the whole deal, you can walk away with some money. Your credit isn't hurt as bad. And uh, they're just basically things that the banks, it's an easy way to do a short sale with Bank of America. The only way to find out if you're eligible is you've got to call me. It's got to go through an agent. The bank really doesn't tell you. If you call the bank, they're just going to say no. The bottom line is a short sale is far better than a foreclosure. Um, it, just by calling me doesn't mean you're starting the foreclosure pro or the short sale process. All it means is maybe you'll get a little in more information about what your situation is. No matter who you've talked to in the past, I'm the guy that other agents call to find out information. So please call me, 704-618-7184.